So I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on my life right now. I'm really considering going to move to Mexico. Guadalajara, Jalisco or Puerta Vallarta, Jalisco. Where my family is, where all my family lives in, uh, most of them. On my dad's side, I live in Mexico, in uh, Jalisco. But, uh, ¿tú entiendes español? <laughs> I'm pretty, like, halfway fluent in Spanish. I'm still working on being 100% fluent. But I know that my future is not in the USA. No me gusta vivo en uh, Estados Unidos. Nope, I don't like it no more, man. I mean, I know that I don't want to marry an American woman, ever, ever. Um, I want to marry a woman that's, uh, you know, not only from Mexico, but uh, lives in Mexico, too. And they're, they're just far more traditional. I mean, Mexican culture and American culture, it's a 180, bro. Complete 180. You wouldn't even recognize it. It's extremely conservative, traditional, old school, Catholic in Mexico. And that's the exact opposite of the USA. Fuck that, man. I don't want to stay in the United States anymore. I love the USA constitutionally. I fucking hate it socially, though. Not only that, but I also get automatic uh, Mexican citizenship in Mexico because my dad was born there. And if you have a parent that was born in Mexico, you automatically get uh, Mexican citizen citizenship. You just gotta fucking, you know, go to the Mexican embassy and just give them the paperwork and that's it. Just like that. <clears throat> so that's why I'm considering. Also, also, I can buy a fucking $3 million dollar penthouse It would be three million dollars in the USA. I could only I could get it for a hundred thousand dollars in Puerto Vallarta, Jalisco. Like seriously, bro. <laughs> I would be living like I was a fucking millionaire in Mexico <laughs> with my military benefits. But I digress. Anyways, <clears throat> the whole point being, I'm considering it. Extremely considering it. Moving to uh, Jalisco. Go, just moving to, to Mexico, and uh, you know, after I get my citizenship. Because that's where I want to meet my wife. That's where I want kids with a wife in Mexico, not in the USA. Nope, not at all. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't want to get married in the USA and I don't want to have kids in the USA. I want them in Mexico. And I want them to be in my native land and to uh, you know, grow up speaking Spanish. Unlike me, who has to you know, learn it after all these years fluently. I want to be back in my mi cultura in Mexico. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I'm old school, guys. I'm super fucking old school. I mean, think about like a man in like the 1890s. That's Braulio. <laughs> That's me. I'm very, very traditional, very old school. I'm hell. I'm even thinking about going, uh, converting back to being a Catholic again because I was raised Catholic. But. Um, Like when I was nine years old, my grandparents converted us to being Christian. And then, yeah, I've been Christian ever since. But actually, you know, I can always just go back to being a Catholic again. Because I remember what it was like when I was a little kid. But no, I digress. Boring subject. Most 95% of Mexico is Catholic. That's why it's so traditional. And that's why the women there are so much better than in the USA. <laughs> you know, I don't have to worry about like a chick divorcing me and taking half my shit or taking my kids. Like I would if I got married in the USA. <laughs> But anyways, I digress. That's where I'm at in life right now, guys. And uh, considering moving to Mexico permanently after I get my Mexican citizenship. And I guess we'll just go from there. Because there's uh, lots of uh, muy, uh, muy mujeres in, uh, in Mexico. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't think of the word right now because I'm not fluent. Bonitas. There we go. Muy bonitas. In Mexico. But yeah. Hmm. I'm still aprendo español. Perdón. <laughs> uh, Brolio's out. And uh, here we go. Peace. I'll talk to you guys soon. Out.